Are you looking to up your game in the bedroom? Introducing Popstar for bigger loads and better taste. Use code Holly for an extra 20% off of your auto ship order. Go to popstarlabs.com slash Holly or search for Popstar pills on Amazon. So how did becoming a mom like change your perspective on work and your relationship with it? You know, I, I believe people want me to sit here and say that I feel really like guilty about my job more so now that I have like a daughter and things like that. Um, and I, I don't, I don't know if there's something wrong with me, but I don't feel bad about what I do. I don't feel like what I do is unethical. I think there is things in this business that can be unethical, but I think that I just already don't participate in those things. Um, and the things that I get concerned with while having a daughter are the things that people probably wouldn't think of. Like Parker watches me get my makeup done many, many times a month and she's really into makeup because of it. And she mm -hmm. wants to be like me and stuff like that. And I think that that's something that is more concerning to me, like what influence I have on her in that way. Like I don't want her to sit around and think like the beautification of herself is super important, mm -hmm. even though I need that to use that as a tool for my job. It is part mm -hmm. of my job. I was at the nail salon yesterday and I saw this like 16 year old girl getting some really intricate long nail design. And then when she got to the counter, I heard her total was like $230. And I'm like, this girl is sitting here for two plus hours, spending her time getting her nails done, like what else could she be doing? And that's with like every thing that we do to make ourselves look better, right? Mm -hmm. Like I really hate that that has to exist and I really wanna sort of hide her from that part of the world as much as I can, but it's hard when I also am an active participant in that part of the world yeah. and she has to witness it. Yeah. And so therefore I'm saying to her like, this is really important. Yeah. And I don't want her to live in a world that where that is really important. Yeah. I want her to be a kid. I want her to fucking play. I yeah. want her to read. I want her to do active things and right. not sit around making herself look better. Right. No, I feel you on that. It's like I want to encourage Violet to like love herself the way she is and like love her body mm -hmm. and not have like, you know, the body issues that I had when I was younger. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, here I am, like, I went and got, like, lipo. And, yeah. you know, like, I'm constantly, like, trying to work out. And, you know. Um, if my family talks about dieting in front of my daughter in Armenian, I'm, like, telling everyone to shut up. Like, <laughs> I am so on it. Like, I really want to try to shield her from that as much as possible. Mm -hmm. But we also live in Los Angeles. Yeah. And this is my job. And, like, if, if she doesn't learn it from me, she's going to learn it from some girl at her middle school. And, you know. Yeah. You know, it's like you can't protect her from all of that, but I know. But you could try. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. It's it's going through that world through the world trying to like let your children have their own experience, but wanting to protect them from that experience. Yeah. It's so heartbreaking to see them go through anything that's painful, but that's mm -hmm. where you grow. Yeah. You know? Like I showed up at school the other day and some like bitch pulled her hair and she's crying <gasps> and I was like, I'm gonna kill that child. But of uh, course, like I'm not what? What am I gonna do? What, you, I'm gonna go you, yell at a four year old? No, like, I'm what not. What are you gonna do? Tell her, like, pull her hair back? Like, yes. I, don't, I, I don't know. You don't want her to be the mean kid, too. Right, right. Yeah, no, exactly. So, I mean, it's interesting that you're talking about how people think that you should feel guilty about your job. And, you know, I, I hear that so much from people who are like sex workers and also mothers. And um, I just find it like, I just find it so sad because I obviously don't find that there's anything with what we're doing mm -hmm. like it's a job it's entertainment for adults mm -hmm. um you're working on your own you're making your own money you're setting your own rules you're working with other you know women who are also like kind of in that same place I mean the industry is so different now too than it used to be like everybody's like their own personal content creator mm -hmm. and it just like this whole idea of trying to shame women for being makes me crazy and I think it just resonates with me especially because you know, like my mom is like such a liberated yeah. woman. And I grew up, you know, my mom didn't perform in front of the camera, but she was a, you know, director and photographer. Do and you remember what that conversation was like when you were, did your mom, that your mom told you like, this is what I do for work? So no, because she never hit it and then made it some big mm. like deal. It was never a big deal. So there's an age that you can remember where she just said like, I'm going on set. I take photos of naked people. Like, I don't. I I, th I don't remember any specific conversation, but I feel like what I do remember is her telling me, like, so our guest house was their office, and that's okay. where they worked out of, and that's where they had the magazines and all that stuff. This is before the internet, people. Yeah. Um, and 
you know, I couldn't go into the back rooms where basically all the porn was held. Like I could walk into like the the reception area if I needed to find them, but I couldn't go into the back rooms. And I feel like I remember them saying, you know, mommy and daddy take pictures for grownups and you're not a grownup. And that was it. It wasn't like this is exactly what it is. It was just like, it's not age appropriate for yeah. you. And as a kid, I didn't really question it. When I tell Parker something's for a grown up, she she's like, "All right, it's for a grown up." Exactly, yeah. exactly. And I didn't question it. And then when I got older, you know, obviously, like kind of getting closer to puberty, I was more interested, and that's when I started stealing the magazines. <laughs> but um, before that, it wasn't like I don't know. When you're a kid, you don't care about what your parents do for a living. I know. I can't remember a single thing of any, that any of my friends' parents did for a living. Yeah, it wasn't really like an important conversation to us. Right. I feel like my mom would always ask me, like, what are so-and-so's parents doing? I'm like, I have no fucking clue. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, when you're a kid, you just care, like, are you loved? Are you getting the right toys? Are you being fed? Do you feel safe? Yeah. You know? Like, those other things don't matter. Yeah. Are you worried about when, like, are you thinking about having, like, a conversation with her at Not some point? Not so much point? right now. I mean. Um, I think the new thing that Adam and I have sort of decided since this whole new cycle with the scene with Jason is just that we're like not going to share her online anymore. Mm. Um, which is unfortunate because, you know, I was making like mini vlogs of she and my, my life together and all the time we'll show them to her. Like, you know, her, mm -hmm. the day she got her ears pierced or whatever. And I feel like because I'm not putting those out, I'm not creating them as much, but I need to just start making them just to save in my mm -hmm. own little Dropbox or whatever. But, you know, there was just way too many viral pictures of her on yeah. Twitter and video and reels and things like that where the whole concept was like, look at this terrible mom, look at this terrible dad, many, many millions of views on these things. And it's like, because I, I was already a sex worker and I was fucking my husband and then all of a sudden I fucked someone else. And now I'm, a I mean, they already called me a bad mom before, but now it's more so. Um, and so I actually stopped posting on my safe for work, like mom Instagram page until today. I posted a photo of Adam and I, and then I posted a photo of Parker and I, but I blocked out her face and like, the, the comments went from being something very positive before and that being like a really safe space for me to to, to being really negative today. Yeah. And I'm like, I felt wow. So I have a private mom account and I follow Yuriolina the mom account mm -hmm. on there. And come to think of it now, I just realized, yeah, I haven't seen any. Yeah, I haven't been active on there. Um, you can, have you considered making it private? It's verified, so you can't go private when you're verified. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I just think I'm not going to share her anymore which is unfortunate yeah um because you know everyone's just like oh you're making money off your daughter and this, i never made money any money off of any yeah. of the content i made from, from with my daughter it was yeah. just i was just sharing it because i that was my life like 99 percent of my life is that yeah the other one percent is me dolled up going to set yeah but everything else is like i'm, I'm a mom i'm like a full-time mom even though i'm a full-time businesswoman are you looking to up your game in the bedroom? Introducing Popstar for bigger loads and better taste. The only doctor developed organic, high quality and made in the USA volume and taste enhancer. With hundreds of five-star reviews, you will definitely be satisfied or it's free with their money back guarantee. Use code Holly for an extra 20% off of your auto ship order. Go to popstarlabs.com slash Holly or search for Popstar Pills on Amazon. 